internet people! Behind me, there are two kinds of trees that I am going to tell you about today. Over here, nope, here, yep, right there, that is a live oak tree. And over here, yes, that is a California bay tree. So, now I'm going to tell you about these trees in more detail. So this here is a bay leaf, and this here is an oak leaf. Some differences. This one is bigger, this one is not. This one is oval and pointy, and this one is round. But despite some superficial differences, these two leaves are actually very, very similar to one another. Why would that be? Because they live in the same environment, so of course they're going to be adapted to the same challenges. Notably, both of these leaves are quite thick, and they're also very waxy, so they both have a very thick coating of wax around them. And this wax prevents them from dying in drought conditions. It just rained today, but this is the first time it's rained in this area of California for like six months maybe. Like, it's, it's been a, a bad drought. These leaves are really happy to finally get some water, but they have to be able to survive long periods of time without any water, and so they cover themselves with wax to prevent water loss. Another thing that both of these leaves have in common is their spines, which is an adaptation that is associated with drought. Basically, for leaves that have to last more than a year like these guys, they're much more sensitive to predation risk because it's much more of an investment to grow a leaf because water is so tight. So all of the leaves that the plant makes, it really wants to hold on to, which means that it puts these spines on them to, to be an extra deterrent from, for predators. You don't see these spines on trees that have less water stress because they're less attached to their leaves because they can just grow new ones. So, in conclusion, two distantly related trees living in the same environment, developing similar leaves. Hooray! Convergent evolution! Woo! And yes, if you were wondering, the oils in this leaf that protect it from drought also make it smell nice and make your soup taste like bay leaves.